what's up guys welcome to another video today I'm gonna talk about young salty <laughs> about the best decision I ever made uh, by far led to a lot of good things um, so taking it back way back uh, when I was like 17 years old uh, I was still in high school I you know I had a rough childhood I guess you could say um, it was just I don't really want to get into that, but it was rough. Anyways, so 17 years old, I moved out. I uh, had my own house that I was renting at the time. I had a job, obviously. Um, so I just got, at moving out at 17 and uh, knowing a lot of people that were older than me, partying, drinking, I got like heavily into drinking and uh, just, just not the best thing <laughs> you should be doing at that age. Well, anyways, this carried on for years, uh, from about 16, 17 to about uh, 23, roughly. I was just drinking, like, way too much. Like, I was drinking a lot. And um, it just got bad. And eventually, after so many years of doing it, I realized that, like, I, I had no ambition to, like, get a better job or to you know like cut ties with people who I knew were bad for me um, so I was like 23 years old I had already gone to college for a couple years ended up uh, basically dropping out of college uh, not that I was failing or anything but uh, I just I was just partying way too much all I cared about was partying and drinking and having fun and being with just stupid people <laughs> um, so anyways long story short when I was like 23 I I was at work one day, I remember, and I was cleaning pools for a living at the time up in North Carolina, and uh, I basically remember, like, I had just had it. Like, I was, like, basically, like, I was at my wits end. I was, like, just had it. Uh, I just wanted to make a change. I was, like, if I don't do something, if I don't change my life drastically, I'm just going to end up in the same predicament 10 years from now. Um, so this was seven years ago, roughly. So I remember calling up my dad who lived down here in Florida and uh, I basically told him like, hey, I want to make a change. I want to move down to Florida. Um, what do you think? And he was all for it. He was, uh, he was like, yeah, come on down. I'll hook you up with a place to stay until you get on your feet. Um, so that was it. I remember like that same day t telling my boss like, hey, I'm not going to be here in about three weeks. I'm leaving. I'm moving. And it was kind of a shock to him, but I at least gave him like a month's head up. And he was a good boss, so he understood and everything, and he wished me the best. And uh, I basically like told him like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is this is what I need to do. I need to make a change. I need to do something different with my life. So anyways, 23 years old, I packed up everything I had, put it in my Ford Ranger, and drove 650 miles, whatever, down here to Florida. And uh, honestly, it was the best decision I've ever made in my life because if I didn't do that, I didn't cut ties with all the bad people in my life. I didn't just completely start my life over. I think I honestly probably would still be in that same situation seven, you know, seven years later. Um, so now I've been living in Florida a little over seven years and just everything has like turned totally upside down. Like, I, I like got out of drinking, I don't party. I'm like, I feel like I'm like, I'm like a 50 year old man in a 30 year old's body. Not like I feel that old, but it's just like my mentality. Like I've already been through the partying stage and the hanging out with bad people and all this. And I just kind of, I, I guess I grew up fast moving out when I was 17 years old and having to support myself. And it was just, I don't know. And uh, it taught me a lot. It taught me, you know, what kind of people you want to surround yourself with. Um, you know, you want to be around the kind of people that you want to aspire to be and the kind of people that are like gonna, gonna like benefit you, not like in a materialistic way, but like people that are just good to be around. Um, and that's pretty much how I am now. Like if I meet somebody and they seem nice, I'll talk to them. But if I get like a vibe, like they, are into bad things and this and that and it's just gonna be like they're trouble you know some people are just trouble that's just that's just the fact <laughs> I mean it's just how it is some people just are trouble and if you ever want to move on in life and become better if you're ever in a bad situation like I was 
that's pretty much you have to cut ties with people like that and uh and sometimes it's rough cutting ties with people that you've known most of your life but sometimes it's what you gotta do and you gotta make a change and uh that was always honestly the best decision i've ever made in my life seven years later i can tell you that like my job i've been in my career now for six years um and i just absolutely love my job i make good money and uh i'm with a girl that i i basically i when me and my ex broke up i stayed single for a little while and probably the longest i was ever single and uh, i was like i'm done with chicks because <laughs> i was in a bad situation with a girl beforehand too and uh basically I was like I'm done with that I'm just gonna like, focus on me and I did and I focused on myself and I became happy with myself and then later on I met Heather um, if you guys watch my channel you know that I've been with Heather for a little over four or going around four years now and uh, she's just like she's a good girl and I love her to death and it's just she's done great for my life and i feel like i've done great for her life she always tells me that so i gotta believe her right so uh yeah so everything's good and another uh, another big benefit of moving down here was that when i was growing up i was never really around my dad that often like he had visitation rights my mom and him have a rough separation but anyways he had visitation rights i saw him like every month he would drive up to north carolina and see me me and my sister um but I was never like I never grew up in the house with him in the household, so it was kind of like it was a little different than growing up with your mom and dad together, like a lot of people, you know, tend to do. But it was just uh, moving down here gave me that option to be able to see my dad whenever I want. And I, honestly, I see him just about every weekend now. We all ride together, so so that's another big benefit of moving down here. Just everything like. Um, just relationship wise financially my career uh, just my health my uh, fitness my lifestyle just everything has just like completely done a 180 it's just awesome so I figured I'd share that story with you guys I know um, I'm sure you know somebody that's in that situation or somebody who or maybe you are in this kind of situation right now who knows but uh, I figured I'd just share my story with you and kind of a little bit of my past so uh, all right guys that's it i'm gonna head out what a beautiful day it is here in florida so uh i'm gonna head out and i'll talk to you guys in the next video all right peace and ride safe